congratulations on the new album. Thank you. Absolutely superb. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting with a man, Bill Medley, and, yes. chatting, and he said, you know that when we recorded You Lost That Love and Feeling, there was a young lady on the backing vocals. Yep. I was the only girl, too. And I, it was me. And it was, it was such an exciting thing, too, because the second you heard that song, you knew that you were listening to something amazing. And then, and Philip wanted me to sing backing, and he had like four guys, four guys and Sonny, and, and then said, no, Cher, I want, you, I want you on it. So it was the last thing I, it was the last background vocal I ever did. Imagine I sat with you then, right? Just bear with me, if you will, back to what, 64. If I said to you, from now on, in every single decade, you'll have a hit right up to 2013. What do you think you really would have said? I wouldn't have said, oh, you're crazy, but I would have had a hard time believing that particular thing. That seems kind of weird. Yeah. So going back to when you were a kid, what was the first song that you ever sang? Hey, Good Looking. Hank Williams, I think. Yeah. It is. yeah. Wow. Because my mother had a country and western background, and my mother is a singer too. Mm -hmm. And so I just learned, you know, country songs. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know they were country songs. I just thought they were songs. Yeah. And, um, and I, I can remember singing with my mom. I remember singing and talking about the same time. Well, let, let's talk about the new album as well, and incredible collaborations on there too. Yeah. And of course, number one in the dance charts too. Yeah. How does it feel now? I mean, is it still that thrill, or is it like, hey, it's another number one? No, I think it's, I think it's, I don't know if it's more exciting, but it's still exciting because you don't ex you don't expect to be having anything. You know? I, and I, I have to say it, and I always do. I'm not a huge Cher fan, but I do like the songs on this album. <laughs> and do you have a very separate thing? You know, you go, here, I'm just home Cher, and then there's da-da, yeah. out Cher, yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty, um, at home I don't care about makeup, I don't care about clothes, I just bum around and fabulous old neon workout clothes and <laughs> you know I'm, I I I know that I always know I'm going to do this so when I'm not doing this I I kind of like just being a bum yeah and then you can't go out like a bum anymore though because you can't go any place and do anything without someone taking I mean now it's crazy everyone takes your picture and it's like in two seconds on Instagram and Facebook and and I don't like that. I don't really like that at all. Mm. It's, I just, that, that's the only thing I don't like about my job, you know? Now, when you were younger, do you think you would have got caught out on a few things then? The way that, you know, with Instagram and camera phones, and could you have misbehaved as much as you did? Did I misbehave? I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm just I, didn't, I wasn't there. a big. I wasn't a big misbehaver. <laughs> you were such a good girl. You were no, a good girl. I was a pretty good girl, <laughs> except when I like when I think you know. Like I said to my mom, you know, mom, why were you so tough on me? And she goes, well, because you're so wild. <laughs> and I didn't really think I was being wild at all. But when I think of the things that I did, if I was my mother, I would be frightened too. Really? Yeah. So, but I mean, I never did drugs. I never, you know, I didn't drink. I didn't. You know, I wasn't crazy, you know, I wasn't like boy crazy. I was, you know, but I always kind of spoke my mind from the time I was little-ish, mm -hmm. you know. What, what do you think would surprise most people about you that we don't really know? Because we see this wonderful, you know, larger-than-life image. Yeah. Well, that's put together by five people in two <laughs> hours. But um, I don't know. I, I mean, uh, somebody else just asked me that, and the only thing that I think that I can say honestly that people, I don't know if they know it or not, is I'm really shy. I mean, I was so shy as a child, I could not, I could not dial information for my mother. I could not bring myself to talk to the operator and ask, you know, do you have so-and-so? Also, I was dyslexic, so my whole childhood in school was a nightmare. Growing up, those things kind of, you know, propel you into another place. Now, a couple of questions from the fans as well, because okay. I like to get them on Twitter as well. Right. Um, here's one I'm sure you've been asked this a lot of times, but it's the classic. It's from Kevin Carpenter. If you could turn back oh, time, right. where would you go to? 
I would go to the night of my 40th birthday. Really? Yes. Tell me more. It was just so much fun, and I met like one of my favorite men ever, and I was sitting with my friends, and we were in a club that we all used to go to in New York, and I was thinking, well, you know, I just dodged age. I just dodged <laughs> death. I'm 40 years old, and I look great, and I'm, you know, and I'm just having a great time. And it, But except in the morning time, the man um, that directed um, The Witches of Eastwick called me and said, you know, you can't be in the movie because Jack Nicholson doesn't think you're sexy. And my kids were bringing in a birthday cake. I was living in a hotel, in my friend's hotel, and they were bringing in a birthday cake with a bellboy, and I'm crying, and they're come in singing happy birthday. It was a nightmare. And then by that night, it was just, I was having the best time of my life. So, um... So I would go to that night because that was just one of the great times. The other one is from Julie Stewart, and this is the obvious one from all the women, I think. Beauty secrets. Come on, what, what's, the, what's the secret? You look amazing because people always go, well, what did she really look like? And I'm, you know, just a few feet away. You haven't moved in your clothes. I'm because I can't, <laughs> and you know that. You were here. My pants are so tight. I can't even, I, I can't even move, like... That's it. That's the movement. I didn't realize. I think I must have gained some weight between now and when I tried these pants on before. But, you know, I, I don't, I, I eat pretty, I, I eat decently. And I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. And I work out. I've been working out. I've been working out really my whole life. I was a really, I was just a tomboy growing up. And then always got in the habit of it. You know, on Sunny and Cher, I did dance class and you know, so I always have been really athletic, and I think that's a good, I think that's a really good thing. I think it's good for your mind, and I think, I mean, it's great for your mind, and it's great for your body. So as we, as we sit here, Academy Award winner, you like that one? I do. <laughs> <laughs> and all the rest of the awards, and all the, the accolades, and all the rest of it, are you really happy? Yeah, but I don't, awards don't make you happy, and fame doesn't make you happy, and money makes everything much better, <laughs> but... Um, I think, you know, people have a feeling that that makes you happy, but it doesn't really make you happy, mm -hmm. you know, because you can't go to bed with your Oscar, or you can't, you know, you can't go, oh, I'm so sad, Oscar, tell me I'm fabulous, you know, but, you know, I am happy, you know, I have really good friends, I have great children, you know, I love my album, which I haven't been able to say very many times in my life, really. I'm, I, yeah, I am happy. And when I can take these pants off, I will be so much happier. Now, that's the best ending ever to an interview. Come on, let's go and get the pants off. Get, let's get your pants off now. <laughs> let's get your pants off. Cher <laughs> said, let's go and get my pants off now. I love it. What a great way to end. So lovely to see you. Hey, thank you. See you with the pants off. All right. Well, you, that's the best line that any, no one's gotten anything near that. Okay? <laughs>